girls, it's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A day that I love because I get to share stories with you. All right, last time we talked, we were talking about winter. We're going to continue our talk with another nonfiction book about winter. Oh, hello, Ella. Did you come to say hello to, to the kids? Oh, that's sweet. Mm, mm, I love you. All right, we got to get reading to these kids. In winter, the animals have to adapt. So we are going to read a nonfiction on how that happens. A nonfiction, remember, is true story. It's true facts that actually happen. All right, Winter Animals. And this is written by Jenna Lee Gleisner and John Willis. And the publisher is AB2 Books. All right. Winter Snow. It's winter. Animals look for food. A red fox dives into the snow to get a mouse. And down here is a fun fact. Red foxes live in many places in the United States. This includes Yellowstone National Park in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. So that is what a red fox looks like. All right. Winter is cold. Animals find ways to keep warm. Moose grow more hair or fur. Look at that big old moose. He has giant antlers, doesn't he? All right, cool. Animals adapt to the snow. Snowshoe hairs spread their toes. This helps them walk on the snow. And here is a fun fact. A snowshoe hare can jump nearly 10 feet in a single bound. Oh, I can't even jump three feet. How about you? Maybe a fun thing to do today would be to jump and have mom or dad measure how far you actually get. That would be so much fun. I wonder if it's 10 feet like the snowshoe hare. An Arctic fox turns white. It blends in with the snow. It sneaks up on its prey. Wow, that is white. He does blend right in with the snow. And ermine's fur turns white too. This helps it hide from predators. And do you remember a predator is an animal that wants to eat it for food? Someone that hunts this animal. So this helps it hide in the snow. Some bears hibernate. They sleep in dens. Here's a fact. Bears only breathe once every 45 seconds while they are hibernating. That is not very much. We breathe so much more often than that. So their whole system kind of slows down and sleeps throughout the winter. Ponds freeze and frogs sleep under the water. This frog is underneath a frozen pond. That's so interesting. Humpback whales migrate. They swim to warmer waters. So they find a new place when it's cold. And Ella is talking in the background yet again. She was talking last week, too. Many birds fly south. They will fly back in the spring. And here's your fact. Arctic terns travel between 37,000 and 60,000 miles when they migrate each year. That is so far. That is so, so far. All right. And that is the end of, of our animals in winter. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. And I also hope that you learned a little something. I am Miss Beth and Miss Ella is over there talking and she just wants to be part of the story time so much that I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you next time.